Hello, my name is Brian Kirsch, and in this series, we're going to talk about ransomware, kind of what it is, where it came from, um, why you got to deal with it, and some things you can do to hopefully avoid it and uh, go forward with it. So, ransomware is basically the ability of a hacker, a group that you're not aware of, somebody getting into your system and locking your files for money. Okay, so unlike the traditional virus or uh, a malware attack where it was more of a destructive nature, where the goal wasn't to extract money, it was to cause chaos. It was to infect as many machines as possible, but it was to take things offline. That was really the, the root of the, the viruses. They were malicious, but not like this. When we get into the ransomware, this is about getting into a system and encrypting the data. And once you do that, you know, because encryption is what it is, it's it's pretty hard to break. And the bad guys have just a good as good of encryption as the good guys. So what you end up with is having your data encrypted and locked where suddenly you have no access to it. And as the name would suggest, they're holding it for ransom. So they want to get X number of dollars from you that could be in the hundreds, thousands, or millions of dollars. And the problem with this is it does work. It absolutely works. Um, you can see it in the news stories all the time of different companies paying for ransom. And the problem is you don't always get all your data back, but for some they don't have a choice. The, the thing is what kind of really enabled this was the cryptocurrency. If you have a credit card transaction or even a, a, a mobile app transaction, basically what happens is that's trackable. With cryptocurrency, it's not trackable. And if it's not trackable, it's easy to extort money out of somebody because there's no paper trail. There's no way to really you know, claw back that dollar. So that's what enabled the rise to ransomware. So the folks that were writing the viruses and doing all that stuff, migrated into something where they can actually make a profit because the, with the virus piece you really didn't make money off of that it it is what it is and that's fine but it wasn't a profit center ransomware can absolutely be a profit center to the tune of millions of dollars and it only takes one opportunity to get in because as we're going to talk about it um when you get into a network or you bre uh, break through or breach you know, somebody's external firewall, a lot of times there's not enough internal protection. And antivirus stuff doesn't always handle what's called east-west traffic. So if a hacker can get into your environment, they can actually map it out. And, and the, the problem with this is a lot of them are using you know, higher-end networking tools and that to do this. They're using some of the similar tools that you use to manage your network and manage your environment to breach your networks. So it's not like somebody sitting in their basement that's doing this. These are very sophisticated attacks where there's a lot of technology behind it. And that's enabled because obviously if you get a few million dollars from somebody, you can reinvest in, unfortunately, what you call your business. So this is gonna be a little bit of a, a longer series on some of this. And I just wanted to get kind of get the intro out and kind of we're going to dive into different aspects of it, of, you know, what you might be looking for, how to prevent some of this, how to hopefully recover some of this, and, you know, other alternatives. You know, are there other things you can do to protect yourself from something that is just unfortunately not going to go away? Since there's money attached to it, it will not stop. This is going to be something that is going to be with anybody with a computer for years to come. So again, my name is Brian Kirsch and thank you for watching.